Hello, we will be discussing our research at our institution regarding pediatric breast mass recommendations and the variation in management. Pediatric breast masses are rare, with the majority of masses representing a benign etiology. Of all pediatric breast masses, 95% are fibroadenomas, which as depicted in the ultrasound image to the right, are classically described as homogeneously hypoechoic circumscribed masses with a parallel orientation. Current recommendations published in Pediatric Radiology in 2018 for benign appearing masses under ultrasound recommend follow-up ultrasounds for pediatric masses less than 3 cm, core biopsy for masses 3 to 5 cm, and referral for surgical excision for masses greater than 5 cm. We sought to discover if these recommendations were routinely followed at our institution. Following IRB approval, breast ultrasounds of female patients aged 12 to 18 were identified by review of the electronic medical record. This revealed 140 exams which described classically benign findings consistent with a fibroadenoma. These patients were then further characterized by follow-up recommendations. Of the 140 patients, 99 had benign masses less than 3 centimeters. Within this group, only 37% received the guideline recommended follow-up ultrasound. The 3 to 5 centimeter masses were managed appropriately 56% of the time with core biopsy, while all of the masses greater than 5 centimeters received some form of biopsy. Over 50% of the less than 3 centimeter masses were biopsied despite meeting the guideline recommendations for follow up ultrasound. Breast masses within the 3 to 5 and greater than 5 centimeter categories were more consistently managed as per the guidelines. These findings were statistically significant in the less than 3 cm population and were true regardless of whether the interpreting radiologist was a pediatric, breast, or general radiologist. This demonstrates the need to widely disseminate these guidelines to interpreting radiologists in order to avoid unnecessary procedures on pediatric patients. Thank you for your time.